Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. For our children's story this morning, I have a surprise. Actually, the story itself is about surprises. How many of you like surprises? I do too. I like birthday party surprises and birthday gift surprises. I also like when a friend calls me and that's a surprise as well. Well, have you ever heard of a surprise symphony? That's a music word and you might be wondering, how can you pull that off? Everybody will know what to expect at the symphony since you're going to attend a concert. Well, you'll have to ask Mr. Franz Haydn. He's an Austrian music composer that lived in the 1700s. He's considered the father of symphonies because he's the first one who created one. And since then, many more symphonies um, happened all over the world. A symphony is a complicated piece of music that has four different parts and it takes a long time to play. Well, in 1791, one of his Mr. Haydn's symphonies was called the Surprise Symphony. Its real name was Symphony No. 94 in G major, but everybody knows it as the Surprise Symphony. And the reason why is that nobody knew what to expect. Well, this symphony has beautiful, soothing music, tranquil and peaceful, or so it seems, until one point. And why don't we actually take a peek and see how that symphony goes? Did you hear that? Bam! Right in the middle of the song. I did not expect it. It actually scared me. I think that was the surprise that Mr. Haydn had in mind. And do you know why he had a surprise in mind? Hmm. The reason why is because people were usually sleepy after a heavy meal and he knew that maybe many of them did not pay attention to his concerts. So he tried to wake them up and so he did. This makes me think of another surprise that got our world's attention. Unfortunately, this was not a good surprise. Can you guess what it is? Mm -hmm. It's the infamous COVID-19, the coronavirus, which we are so tired to talk about. But you know, a few months ago, everybody was living their lives, going to school, play, making money, having fun, living life when all of a sudden coronavirus nicked up on us and now everybody is on guard. Really a surprise, right? It made us to think about what's really important in life. Do you know that there is another surprise that is to come? Can you guess what it is? This surprise is the best surprise ever. I think you know, and I think you're right, is the second coming of Jesus. And I'm so excited about that because there's no other surprise like it. The signs all around us tell us that Jesus is coming soon. There are tornadoes and hurricanes and famine and homeless people, much suffering and diseases. These all tell us that Jesus is coming soon. The Bible says in Luke 21 verse 25, and there will be sign in sun and moon and stars and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves. But wait a second, Miss Denisa. If we know that Jesus is going to come, how is that a surprise? We already know. Well, actually, we know that Jesus is coming, but we don't know the day, the month, the hour, and that's the surprise. We don't want Jesus to come and we are not ready. And we don't want to be shocked like those people in, um, 
Mr. Hayden's concerts where they were not ready for the surprise he had in store for them. We actually want to be ready. The Bible says in Matthew 24, verse 42, Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. And the secret to be ready and not be surprised by Jesus' is coming is actually to spend time in prayer every day, talk to Jesus every morning and every evening, also read your Bible, study, think about what you read, try to connect with God through what you read, also do wonderful things for others. As you read more about Jesus, he's going to help you to be a different person and you can serve others. All these things will help you to grow to be more and more like Jesus. And if you do that, you'll be ready when he comes and it won't be a surprise. So yes, I love surprises, but some surprises we want to be ready for. So before we pray, I want to encourage you to take time and get to know Jesus more. So when he comes, you will be ready for him. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are coming. Help us to be ready. Amen.